this thing with the internet where you can just put up whatever you want and people can take it or leave it. And if a lot of people take it, then you've got something. And it's such a great way to promote yourself. And uh, That video up on YouTube, and it blew up like it did. I mean, he didn't put it up there for it to blow up. It just so happened that it blew up. And from that small little video of Inspector Gadget, it really has given us access to be able to do whatever we want because, um, you know, people are out there knowing about it and listening to it and wanting to hear Greg. And as they slowly uh, realize, they want to hear the whole group, you know. And, and I actually think one of the coolest things about the group is that we go to all these places and we get these big crowds and they all are thinking that they're there to see Greg. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> and there's all these people out there, they think they're about to see Inspector Gadget. And then we give them this crazy concert full of all kinds of wild music. You know, actually I started being on the bass right around when I uh, started about, thought about being a project and starting this group because um, I saw all the stuff that Greg was doing with the beatbox and Eric does so much amazing stuff on the cello, stuff you don't really see cellists do that often. Right. And um, I figured I wanted to bring something else to the table that wasn't just bass playing. And I was thinking, what other things could I do with the instrument to really stretch what the instruments can do? You know, we're all classical musicians, have trained classical musicians. I mean, that idea of, you know, taking the the instrument, the classical instrument, and then seeing what, what it's capable of. One thing that makes the group is that each one of us is such a unique musician. You know, we've got a lot of different different things coming in. And that's how we compose too. You know, we don't just compose a piece and then bring it to the other three. We compose all three of us sitting in the room at the same time. People come in with an idea. I like to call it a little morsel. You get a little tender morsel that is just beautiful and perfect. It's in its construction. I mean, when we really when we wrote it, we really Peter and I were just really sitting around and actually it started off like I was playing guitar, he was playing the opening lick. And uh, I was just playing along with the guitar. And you know, I'm a big fan of the blues, so I was just playing a simple blues kind of minor thing over it. And that's how I eventually went to the cello. So it's just like prodding that stripe and it kind of holds a lot of our tunes together. And then we alter the blues a little bit, make it brighter with these chords. In the professional world, as a musician, it's even harder to be able to do something that you thoroughly enjoy. What the one we were thinking about is all of that stuff. We were playing, we are going to do kid stuff, we are going to collaborate with dancers, we are going to collaborate with writers and poets. And all of those things were interesting projects to us. So we were just eventually just saying, let's just call it project. I think that's one of the coolest things about it is that when, when we walk up there on stage with the name project, with the instrumentation, bass, cello, flute, you literally do not know what you're about to get. And then, tune to tune, it's a different thing. It's something different. And that's what we try to hit you with at a concert. Something different. Every single piece. So that you don't know what's coming next. And then with our just raw energy and enthusiasm for the music. I mean, I think that's really what, what people, when they see us live, because it's great watching us on YouTube and on the internet. But I think when you get a chance to see it live, that's really where, where it comes to life. Because you can see our enthusiasm. For that. Teaching is a really important part about playing music, I think. 
And I like to say that, you know, sure, I've spent a lot of time in the practice room and I've spent a lot of time doing my own thing, like working on my own stuff, but I'm the musician today because of all sorts of uh, educators and inspirations I've had over the years. And so really it's a duty, you know, for, for any musician to give back and to teach and to educate. Uh, it's really amazing what you can learn by teaching because you're constantly deconstructing what you do and uh, take for granted. You know, as you break it apart, you're like, man, I just told this dude to like, do all this stuff, but I don't actually think that I do all that stuff. And so then that week you go back in and you're thinking about all those things you were talking about. And you frequently have to say, you know, I've decided that I have another way to think about this concept or whatnot. So it's really illuminating. Uh, I'm, I'm really into teaching. Uh, I hope to end my days. Thank you.